Hey, we're here at Cisco Live, the uh, premier Cisco event of the year, and Cena and I were here talking about Cisco WebEx Mail. And this has been sort of a big thing for Cisco, entering the mail uh, market. What is particularly exciting in your mind about this? So today we're here to talk about Cisco WebEx Mail, but also the integration with Unity Connection, um, and also show the um, progress of Cisco WebEx Mail and the hybrid coexistence that, that uh, we think is very important to our customers. Uh, we're going to quickly walk through the administration console, show how easy it is to create new users or contacts that represent your on-prem users. Um, also, this is exactly how the um, sync tool keeps uh, the on-prem and off-prem users in sync and makes it easy for the administrators to have some users here and there uh, and makes it possible for the users to not see any difference. So the admin console yeah, let's um, take a look. is pretty straightforward. I created a Cisco Live organization here. Uh, basically, if you're a large organization and you have different sub-organizations um, like um, um, business units or different groups within your organization that you want to have different admins administer them and have them completely independent this is what you would do you create different OUs so I went in and created in the Cisco Live OU the users Nina, Sina and Tina <laughs> and, <laughs> and, and adding a new user is as simple as you go in here and you say add a new user or a new contact the contact would be the one that points back to the on-prem user the new user is the user you create um, Let's go ahead and create Gina very quickly. So <laughs> Keep with our Ina th theme. Yes. So now, you said a new user is actually somebody who's going to be on the hosted solution. If you're administrating a hybrid solution, you can make a new contact, which would be somebody who's on an on-premise solution, maybe for security reasons, or you're just not migrating that group over yet, et cetera, right? Yes, you may have reasons that you don't want to move some user to the cloud. Uh, it's the office of the president, you have to keep them. We don't require you to maintain an exchange server on-prem. You can completely turn it off and have only users in the cloud. But we have to be realistic. There are going to be people that will take a very extended period of time to migrate the users, others that uh, will never migrate some of the users. So we made sure that this is possible and easy to use, that you can do free busy synchronization so your shared calendaring works okay. on-prem and in the cloud, yeah. that your global address list is synchronized. Uh, by the way, this is the manual creation. Uh, if you install the uh, directory synchronization tool, it takes care of all of that for okay, you. That was going to be my other question for you. There's got to be a bulk tool some way to import ex uh, users yes, immediately, right, exactly. instead of one by one. Yes, so okay. you could provision thousands of users at once if you wanted to. Yeah. Provisioning the users is the easy part. So uh, you saw me create the user uh, Gina here. Let's go quickly and just look at Outlook. It's the same outlook. It looks exactly the same. All right. So what kind of plugins do you have to install in order to make this Nothing work? Nothing whatsoever. Nothing against plugins that add functionality, like the WebEx uh, plugin and right. other things like this. But you don't need any plugin for your email and calendar to, wor to work. There's no loss of fidelity. Calendaring works exactly the same way. There's nothing different. Mobile devices here, whether it's Active Sync devices or Blackberries, they all work seamlessly. We support the native clients. That's the value of the native So basically, support. you're saying there's nothing to see here. There is nothing to see here. Unfortunately, right? it's not the most exciting demo. Right, yes. yeah. yeah. Outlook looks exactly the same. It functions exactly the same. Correct. It doesn't matter whether you're on-prem, off-prem. Half of your company is, is one, half of the company is the other. Yes. Nothing has changed for you as an end user on Outlook. Correct. And it's all about the flexibility for IT to be able to administer this, however it works. That is them. some very cool stuff. I used to be an Exchange admin, and those were some very tough days. Okay. <laughs> um, now, you know, mobile users or a user who's managed to crush their laptop somehow through airport security, or whatever, um, what are their options for getting to their email without yeah. being able to install things? So the Outlook, you have access to it from anywhere. It is basically Outlook Anywhere, RPC, HTTPS connection. It's all secured. Then you have the mobile devices that I mentioned, and you also have the webmail client. Uh, let me go to the tab, and this is my live email, so I won't keep it too long on the screen. Oh. But it what is we got going on really there? everything is just like Outlook. You can have folders and subfolders, drag and drop messages. Now this is a URL. Then. This is, yes, this is the web client. So it is really the web client of Cisco WebEx Mail, which is very, very close to Outlook and has all the functionality, including ca shared calendaring, contacts, rules, and things like that. And you can access that from anywhere without a VPN client. Yes, it is okay. an HTTPS connection that you have access to from anywhere. Um, yeah, so basically you have the flexibility, you can deploy mobile, you can give webmail access, it's all secure, it's all in our SAS 70 data centers. We go through multiple audits by different security organizations. And I think the 
point I was trying to make by showing that my own email is yeah. under it is that it is truly Cisco You're accessing Cisco. it here from the floor yes. with and nothing. And Cisco employees uh, email is running on that system. Yeah. And the hybrid is what allows us to do it. We couldn't go and deploy 80,000 mailboxes over the weekend and move everybody over. So yeah. we're doing this gradual migration and my email and many other people in the organization are using Bump this me up system. on that list. I need the bigger storage <laughs> capacity. <laughs> yes, if you notice it was 5.2 gigabytes. Yes, I, I need that. I'm, I'm getting those warnings all the time. All right. Um, so you mentioned the Unity Connection piece. Yes. Uh, so the Unity Connection piece, so Unity Connection here, this is 8.5, which becomes available in November. November, yeah. Uh, it is using our mailbox. Um, I know it is also able to do it with Exchange, so we don't force people to do one way or the other. It's all about the flexibility and making it work for IT, however it works for them. Uh, they're using our mailbox. I do see that you did leave me a message earlier. Uh, this is the speech to text conversion. All right. So now this is the thing that people have been asking about, right? When we've when we've talked about WebEx mail before, they've, the question that comes up is when are you going to have Unity? Yes. Right. So that you can get the email, um, get the voicemail in your email, yes. get the speech to text. This is with Unity connection. So this now will, starting in November, be fully orderable by customers. Correct, so this is the first step of the integration of all the different Cisco products. We'll continue doing this, and if you saw the demo yesterday, there's the inbox, and we're showing how we're gonna go to this unified interface to have all these different functionality available to you in one place. We believe it's all about the user and the content, and this is the first example of it. So if you go in here and we look at this message, this is the message you left. Within a couple of minutes, it gets translated from speech to text, and you receive it in your inbox. Yeah, and it's accurate. I even kind of slurred my words a little bit on purpose, and uh, they caught it. Yes, it is better than 90% accuracy, and in this case, you see it's 100% accurate, even though that last word, uh, yeah. hope all is well, you would think they might have some problem with, but it yeah. all came through. Great. Well, I know there's a lot going on this week here at Cisco Live, and you're a very popular and busy man, so I'm going to let you go. But I do want to thank you so much for spending the time with me again. Sure. Thank All you. Right, thanks. thanks. For those of you playing our collaboration code game, here is your code. If you don't know what I'm talking about, visit the Cisco Collaboration page on Facebook.com.